as Island Visual Effects Supervisor, I got to collaborate really closely with the director, Jordan Vogt Roberts, and really helped define this character as something new and something that people haven't seen before. Kong is the last of his kind on the island. He's almost a tragic character. The director really wanted to take some inspiration from the older films, the 33 Kong, and so a lot of the designs were initially informed by that. They didn't want him to be just a silverback. They wanted him to be a little more human for the audience to be able to empathize with him. Chris, who built Kong, really focused on putting almost half the detail in the head and face. To do that, we used HD geometry. We paid extra attention to the details. So we had this awesome opportunity to visit the, the local zoo, and we took a lot of microphotography so we could have access to all the fine detail face. We got all this amazing reference, and that was definitely used for our creature. Of course, the one who came up with the best, best possible creature, and that's sometimes a lot of iterations in the game that we have to keep up all the time and render it with the best possible quality. The eyes are the windows to the soul, and it's super important that we have the light correctly in, in there. Many of the scenes in the film had an emotional um, weight behind them that we had to deliver through Kong's performance, and without the luxury of him being able to speak or, or make traditional uh, facial expressions, we were limited to having to create all of that emotional range just through Kong's eye performance. We take that animation, we have a muscle system built underneath the skin, and so based on that animation we simulate the muscles. So what you get from that is you can see how, say, a shoulder blade slides underneath. He's going in water, he's getting burned, there's a lot of volume, a lot of data to process. We're basically adding the dynamic side for the skin. And that then drives the hair, which is simmed separately. Kong was definitely a, a big challenge because we are talking about over 17 million hairs. So it was very important that we optimize the shots as much as possible. We knew early on that the best strategy would be basically breaking out the groom to multiple artists, Ryan Gillis and myself, so that we could hit our schedule. The director didn't want a typical gorilla groom, so we knew that our fur would never be clean. It required an insane amount of details. We ended up incorporating a lot of clumping. We also had very large matted sections into our groom. We knew that we needed to dirty it up, so we added leaves, we added twigs, we added mud, and secondary grooms incorporated the injuries that were sustained by Kong throughout the film. There's a lot of damage that was added to add character to him. You know, it's like there are scars everywhere. If you look at the fine detail in the hands and feet, you're going to notice like tiny little details and little scratches and things like that because we have to see this character from all angles. So when Kong takes all this damage through the course of the film, the only way he could emote was really through facial expression. Scott Benza, who was the animation supervisor on the show, had a, a huge challenge in terms of how to communicate just how much of an impact this had on Kong. Yeah, we had an invaluable resource on the film in that Toby Kebbell came to ILM to provide the animators with uh, facial performances for Kong that we could use for reference. Uh, it was really important to convey that Kong was a living, breathing, and most importantly, thinking creature in these scenes. It was really interesting to watch Toby go through a whole range of emotions that we were able to then uh, put in the animator's hands to breathe that life into the character that you see in the film. For the scene in which Kong uh, emerges from the fire, we have to cheat a lot because basically all the, all the fire elements that were in position in frames, as the director wanted, were not providing the, the lighting effect on the face that the director wanted, so we had to resort to some trickery there. Okay. This was like a, a dream coming true. I mean, like every single modeler wants to do monster stuff. And on top of that, it's Kong. Kong was such a huge character, and it was such an awesome team effort. I think really just made him feel tangible. It 
it was a huge show and everybody made an incredible contribution to the final product.